Want to know where the most haunted place is? Stick around. Do you often wonder the story behind the structure? Did they die? Did they die here? Or did they just move on? Sometimes we we'll just never know. Sometimes haunted things are not as far away as you think they are. Sometimes old back roads that are away from any civilization can hold many secrets. Okay, so what was the story with the, the house? When we were growing up, we had a lot of trouble in that house. What kind of trouble? Well, there's several occasions, but my mom at night would feel somebody choking her, grabbing her in the neck with sharp nails. Ouch. But she never had marks or anything. But she, she always complained about it. My dad had a last supper clock of jesus christ and his disciples and the ice would move and it wasn't supposed to move you know it wasn't one of them like three d's whatever you call them mm -hmm. another occasion and it happened several times we'd be in the living room watching tv and we would keep hearing something rolling across the attic so my mom got some members of her congregation, they came and went up there to see what was going on. And it was an old baby carrier stroller. Like a carriage? Mm-hmm. Then there was that one night we were watching TV and the ceiling towels just went where they all fell down. But we all had the shells. Creepy, you know? And then my brother, Philip, he would always get in trouble. Dad would think that he didn't want to do his chores. Philip complained about the goat we had named Sugar talking to him, and his eyes would turn red. A goat? Mm-hmm, because my dad would always get animals. We lived out here on the farm. He'd butcher them. Sometimes he just kept them for the goats to help with the weeds in the yard. 
So my brother would get spankings and whatever for not doing chores. My dad didn't believe him. One night, dad went to the shed where he would st- that goat would stay. His eyes turned red, started talking. But he never talked in English. It was like some weird, scary thing, right? Mm-hmm. So my dad got the gun and shot him. And we didn't stay there much longer. So did y'all eat the goat? No. You burn it, huh? I don't know what dad did with it, to be honest with you. <laughs> but we always had trouble there. So was there a doll with that carriage or anything, or just a baby no, carriage? No, just an old antique baby carriage. Mm. That would be trippy, that's for sure. Oh yeah, many, many nights we were scared to even go to bed. Mm. And something in that hallway, I don't know what it was, but you get that creepy, I don't want to go to my room or whatever at night, you know, because we had to pass through the hallway. Mm-hmm. Mom always complained, couldn't sleep, like I said. And we moved out, never had that problem again. How long did y'all live there? We lived there two different occasions because dad was a farmer and that was a, one of the farmhouses where, you know, the workers oh. would live. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So, uh. How old were you? First time I was like in elementary, second time I was in junior high. But when we got out, like I said, all the troubles were gone. Well, they stayed in that house. I don't know if the man suicide or some one died or what, but that, I mean, the hallway was an eerie feeling. Mm. I bet there's lots of old places like that. Not only is it the scariest place, it's also the most mysterious place. 
Stick around, we're getting there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Check out the moon. Tomorrow night is supposed to be the blue moon on Halloween night. Now, for what you've been waiting for. You know where the scariest place is? The most mysterious of all. Well, do you? It may come as no surprise to some of you. And to others, you may go, hmm. What I want you to do right now, pause the video, go to your dresser or into your bathroom, stand in front of your sink or your dresser, whichever it may be, and take a look at yourself. That's right, right here. It's the scariest, most haunted, mysterious place in all the galaxy and everywhere. Disappointed? Sorry. But the truth of the matter is, in your mind, it's the most haunted and mysterious and scariest place there is. If you don't believe that, go to work at a mental hospital. And remember, they're just that much more off their rocker than you and I are. I hope y'all have enjoyed the series of videos during the month of October. And if you enjoyed it and want to see more outdoor adventures and places and things of interest be sure to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family y'all keep on keeping on and hopefully we make it through halloween and we'll see y'all down the road bye